Hello home learners, I hope you are doing well. It is yet another wonderful day to carry on with our English learning uh, and our unit on Moana. So without further ado, let's begin. Here is the lovely Moana and our learning objective is the same as the previous session. It says, can I identify verbs? Can I write a sentence using a verb in the present and change it to the past? Okay, so you're writing a sentence using the present tense, then you're thinking about it, changing the verb to the past tense in that sentence, and you're writing the sentence again. I'm going to explore that a little bit as we go along in this session. Okay, so do not worry, we'll carry, crack on and we'll find out what we're going to unpack as we go along. Okay, it will become clear. So, as always in school, and hopefully at home, you've been doing this little chant before you even begin to start writing any form of sentences. So, your first uh, uh, thing to do is to think about it. So, you're going to think it, then you're going to say it. You're going to say what you have just thought about. You're going to say it out loud so people can hear you, and you're going to say it out loud, more importantly, so you can hear yourself. Check that what you said makes sense, okay? So you've thought about it, now you're going to say it out loud. Once you've done that, you're going to write it, okay? And once you've written that, you're going to check it. So in order to check for um, making sure that your sentence is correct, these are the steps that we're going to be following, okay? Which is going to be our success ladder or our steps to success. So the first thing is that you can identify a verb in the present tense. And this is a little bit of what we did yesterday. Remember that sheet that we did where you had a verb in the present tense and you had to change it to the past tense. So your first bit of a first step was to identify a present tense. Then your second bit is to be able to change that verb that you just had in the present tense to the past tense, adding the D or ED suffix, okay? So at the end of the word, you're just adding a D or an ED, depending on the word. That's, that signifies the past tense. So for example, if I had the word jumps, the past tense of the verb, that verb would be um, jumped, adding the ED suffix to it. The next step would be that you would be able to write using your capital letters, finger spaces and full stops at the appropriate places. So you'd use your capital letters at the beginning of the sentence or if you're writing the name of a person, place uh, or the name of uh, a day, for example, like Monday or Tuesday. Uh, those are all proper nouns, so they would need capital letters too. That uh, You'd use your finger spaces and your full stops as well at the end of the sentence. The next bit is to write a sentence using your present tense, okay? Using your present tense verb. And that's pretty much what you've already been doing up until now. And then you're going to rewrite that very same sentence using the same verb, but in the past tense, okay? So hopefully, you're going to keep that success criteria, those steps to success or the success ladder quite close to you so you can understand and see how you're going to achieve those little steps and make sure that your sentence, when you check it, is correct. Okay? So remember, think it, say it, write it, check it. And when you're checking it, you're checking for these things as you go along. Once you've done that, I would like you to just have a little break now. So that could be to do anything you like, even if it that me even if it means just clicking on this link and following along with Dylan. Okay, if you can't do that, have a little toilet break, have a little drink, sing a song, give your mummies and daddies a cuddle, or anyone else that you like in the house a cuddle, even if it's your teddy bear. If you want to jump for joy, do it. If you want to shout, yee-haw, you can do that too, because it's it's a lovely day to be happy. So do whatever you want to do for a little brain break, and then come right back, because there's exciting stuff to be done. So see you shortly. Excellent. So you should have this sheet with all your present tense and past tense verbs written out for you. Okay? So 
for me, I'm going to actually write my verb down in order to help me uh, help you, in order to help me to help you. So my verb that I chose was jumps, okay? That was the verb I had on my list. Now, my past tense verb is going to be jumped. And do you notice I have got my ed suffix here, okay? That is my ed suffix. So with that implies the past tense. So I've got jumps and jumped, which is my past tense. So like that, I would have had a list of verbs in the present tense column, and I'm going to have the matching past tense for those words. So what I would like you to do is I've given you a little step-by-step -step sequence of how I would like you to write your uh, lay out your work today. So you're going to pick a verb, any verb in your list. For example, in my case, I've got jumps, which I've changed into the past tense, jumped. Okay? I'm going to put it into a sentence. So pick a verb in the present tense. I'm going to put it into a sentence. So I could say Moana jumps really high. Okay? That's my sentence in the present tense. And then I'm going to write it. So I'm going to write Moana jumps really high. And I'm going to think about that sentence. And my step number four is to change the verb to the past tense. So I'm going to change the verb now and I'm going to refer to my list. My verb in the present tense is jumps and the past tense is jumped. Okay, so I'm going to change the verb to past tense, jumped. And I'm now going to write the sentence again. So my sentence would be Moana jumped to really high full stop. Okay, that is all I'm doing. And if you want to, you can come back to this slide, pause the video here, to check these little um, steps so that you can lay out your work. You're writing the sentences one beneath the other. First the present tense and then the sec uh, second one being the past tense. Okay, So that is the sequence I would like you to follow. So I'm now going to write my sentence and so I've got a thought about it. I've chosen my verbs. I've got a thought about it. I've said it. So I've said it to you just now. My sentence was, Moana jumps really high. That is my present tense sentence. So I'm going to write it. Moana, checking that I've got my capital letter because it's her name. Finger space, ju uh, jumps. I'm going to add another finger space, really. Checking my word there because I know that is in my word bank to remember. Um, hi, now I know that that comes with a trigraph, the I trigraph, I'm not going to forget my full stop at the end, okay? So that is my present tense sentence. Now I've got to change that verb to the past tense, so I'm going to rewrite it down here, checking for my um, capital letter at the beginning, jumped really high full stop okay i'm going to check it now i've written it i'm going to check it have i got my capital letter mm -hmm. have i got finger spaces yes have i got a full stop at the end have i used a present tense verb yes i have have i used a past tense verb yes i have what am i going to do give myself a tick give myself a tick that is what I would like for you to do today. And when you have done that and chosen at least five words to have written sentences with, I'd like you to send us your work. Show us how you made it interesting and how amazing you've been this week. Thank you so much for all your hard work. We love hearing from you. So see you shortly for the next week's lesson. Bye-bye for now.